sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. You hear that damn sound, yeah, my name ring bells, yeah, my name <laughs> ring bells, yeah, my name ring bells. Yeah, bells. What you do? Getting money, switching cars and chickens like it's nothing. Blowing yeah. heads in the air, yeah, I'm always in the sun. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Vasily Lomachenko versus Marciatsu uh, Nakatani. If I pronounce the name wrong, I apologize. I'm going off the top of my head. I'm just trying to say it. Um, yes, yeah, so that fight took place. Vasily Lomachenko made his comeback. And some would say that he looked impressive. I'm one of the some, but, you know, some people, everyone has their own opinion. But uh, here's a... Snippet of what happened in that fight where he dropped Nakatani. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to you, Kaspira G. What was your uh, reaction to the fight? Man, yo, listen, man. Loma, salute. Because I knew he was going to win, but not like that, man. Literally every round he violated Nakatani. Like, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Is this the same Nakatani that was giving Teofima hell? I'm like, bro, he had no answers for Loma. Yo, listen, no disrespect to Boxing Bros Japan. But Lomachenko was eating sushi that whole night, son. It was disrespect. <laughs> Pure disrespect. Like, I'm telling you, Nakatani will like, you. if you notice, Nakatani got so scared of Loma, he stopped throwing jabs. Like, he was hesitant to even throw a jab at Loma. That's how much every time he threw some, Loma came through and hitting him with punches from all different type of angles. Man, listen, I know we're about to talk in the next segment, but you know what, Loma, man? You got me excited again, man. Like, that performance, <laughs> that performance this man, is big from G. Oh, man. You know how G, G can't go to the Ukraine. No fact. If G steps foot in the Ukraine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm getting kidnapped at the airport, but <laughs> man, Loma, I don't understand. It's just, yo, the stuff that he does in the ring, the angles, he literally did like like a, a whole half step around Nakatani without even hitting, just moving around, like looking at him, looking at him. Nakatani was just like hesitant, like, should I hit him? I don't know what to do. I'm like, fam, just do something. And what, what kind of confused me about Nakatani is like he had the reach advantage, right? Then I was like, even if... Loma, you know Loma has to come forward to hit you because the, the, the height reached disadvantage. Just jab moving back, jab moving back. It seemed like Nakatani, he got hit so many times, he even know how to box anymore, man. Was, <laughs> real, man. Like, I was like, yo, we, ref. At that point, I was like, yo, ref, what we doing here, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fight a sap. And then once... Homeboy took the knee. That's when the ref was like, all right, yo, you're done. I was like, honestly, rightfully so, man, because Loma was really putting that work on this kid, man. So, listen, yo, Boxing Bros Ukraine, I don't want no problems. Your man is the man at 135. Your other man's, though, at heavyweight, I don't know yet. So, please forgive me. At least I got – at least I'm down with one out of the two. I'm just saying. Why you got to bring Usyk in this? Usyk ain't got nothing to do with this. Hey, you, just, you couldn't help yourself. You just had to take a shot at Usyk, huh? Hey, man, I'm sorry. I can't help it. You know what I mean? I need y'all to you know. Me and Usyk alone. Man, Usyk ain't Loma, son, so I'm just going. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> Dollar Bill. He's the cruiserweight Luma. He's the cruiserweight Luma. Hey, not <laughs> He's a cruiserweight Loma. <laughs> hey, we don't know yet. He might he might show to be the uh, heavyweight Loma. He might, he might. He might. We don't know yet. Loma. Um, yeah, Lomachenko, the battle of the little guys. That's what it was, National Little Guy Day, you know, the short guy, National Short Guy Day. Many men, many, 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 many men. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> he, he did his thing. He did his thing. Lomachenko, he did his thing. Um, you know, it was so crazy, right? Because after we got through talking about um, our predictions for the fight, I was, I was sitting, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, you know what? Maybe we look too much into the Nakatana thing. Maybe we looked too much into it, right? Because we looked into it like 
Pio Fimo had a, a, a tough time with him. Right? So that's what we was going off of. We was like, you know, uh, uh, Tia Fimo Lopez had a tough time with him. But then I remembered Tia Fimo was going through a tough time in his life at that time. He was having a situation where he just got married and his, and his family wasn't there. It was a big separation going on with his family. He didn't have his family in this corner. It was a, a lot of mess going on. It was a lot of distraction outside the ring. And that's where he had a credit to his poor performance was all the drama that was going on, you know, in his personal life. So I was starting to think, like, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this guy isn't really, you know, what we think he is, you know. And like my brother once said about uh, Felix Vail, he always does this. You know, <laughs> he's, he's, he always finds a way to lose, you know. <laughs> he finds a way to lose. He goes out his way to find a way to lose sometimes, you know. So maybe we're putting too much stuff into into that uh fight with him in, in Lopez. But not to take away nothing from Loma. He went in there and he just showed that this just levels. This just levels and the levels in his class. Um he's special. But everybody knows that already. <laughs> Lomachenko is special and he demonstrated that last night why he is special. And, um, you know, we got other segments to, to talk, so it's not much for me to say anymore about that. <laughs> I feel you. I know, I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> following the bouncing ball, you know? <laughs> and we appreciate that. Yeah, so just to jump in, um, I want to give a huge salute to Nakatani. Um, he took a lot of punishment. You can see it on his face. You can see it on his body. Uh, Vasily Lomachenko was out to prove something, and unfortunately... Nakatani, it had to be you. I know that you were confident that you can get in there and you can knock out Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, you know, not to compare him to Floyd. I'm not saying that Vasily Lomachenko is Floyd Mayweather. But a similarity is when people used to watch Floyd, they would say, oh, I can beat him. Floyd was the easiest person to beat on video. Everyone who watched Floyd on video could beat him. All of Floyd's opponents that watched him on video was like, this dude is food. They were just so confident. It was, you were told something, you thought something, whatever. And then you get in the ring with Floyd and you could barely put a clean glove on him. And all the while, he's tapping you everywhere. Flush, bang, bang, bang. It gets to the point where people just stood there and got hit. You know, and I heard Floyd has no power. But these guys aren't in a rush to try to run up on him. That's all I know. And now um, you look at Vasily Lomachenko. Nakatani, I know you were confident going in. You were going to knock him out in a six and all that. But at some point in that fight, Nakatani did not look interested in engaging with Vasily Lomachenko at all. Because, see, this is where I get at with Shakur Stevenson. It's okay to be a defensive fighter. But when you make someone miss... You have to make them pay as well. See, Vasily Lomachenko made Nakatani miss, and he made him pay to the point where Nakatani was afraid to do anything. And like, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love Andre Ward when he's in his bag and he's not like shilling for ESPN Wars. Like, I remember when I was uh, young and I used to spar my brother, and the coach used to say to me, "Well, he's hitting you." You might as well hit him back. <laughs> like it is, it is true. It's like Nagatani. Mm -hmm. Might as well try to hit this guy back because he's going to hit you anyway, bro. Like, I know what you're thinking. I don't want to open up because you're going to hit me. But if you don't open up, he's still going to hit you. Mm -hmm. Bro, you're going to get hit regardless. So you might as well try to win. It just looked like Nagatani was reduced to trying to survive. And then you compare that to Teofimo Lopez in their fight. And this is why I don't like to do cross comparisons. I honestly believe that a Vasily Lomachenko style is uh, more uh, tailored towards beating someone like Nakatani because he changes angles more. Uh, he he counters more. He sets up shots more. He Where, 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 Vasil, where uh, Teofimo Lopez style is based on a lot of speed, power, athleticism. He can do those things as well. But that's not what he thrives on. Um, Vasily Lomachenko's style is a lot of setting traps, a lot of switching angles, 
a lot of, uh, you know, foot speed in and out. So for him, it's a walk at the park because this guy, uh, Nakatani, his physical stature and all those things uh, are tailor made for Lomachenko's skill set, which is why I, 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 I anticipated that Loma would stop him late is because I just felt like Loma was going to have a field day with him and it was just going to be like, yo, how much more punishment do we let this guy take? And that's the way it played out. Um, but, of course, Teofimo Lopez versus Loma is different because Teo has foot speed as well. Teo has hand speed as well. Teo can match. And we're going to get into that in the next segment. But what I saw from Vasily Lomachenko was reports of his death have been greatly exaggerated. And I've been trying to tell y'all that. Okay, he took a L to Teofimo Lopez in the boxing world. Act like this dude was a fraud. They act like this dude was cake. He 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 chose to fight Nakatani, who is a good fighter, by the way. Nakatani gave Teo problems. Not nobody. Vadejo Vadejo won the first part of that fight until Nakatani stopped him. But Nakatani survived. Nakatani's no cakewalk, and Vasily Lomachenko made him look like a. Beat like a like a D level fighter. Vasily uh, Lomachenko made him sushi, son. He made him look like sushi rolled up. <laughs> sushi didn't move, son. You know what I mean? Like, like Trill said, there's levels. And once again, with this fight, what it told me is Vasily Lomachenko showed you all who was talking like he was some bum. He's still on another level. So get your mind right. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. Trill Talk to out right now. You know who we are. We the Boxing Bros. Let's go with Dan.